It's not time much. Uh, Why did Boris Johnson and Matt Hancock say as recently as yesterday that schools are safe? So I think the issues about schools being safe is about, you know, is it a good place for children in general? And we know that education is important for the mental well-being for the children and for their educational lifelong um, uh, ambitions. What we know is that every single contact can cause a change.
Here we go. Rail's done. Um, we've got to go off and get a gate today. We're going to try and get a gate up down that end by the garage. This is what's left of the muck. There's probably a grab wagon load here, about 18 ton. And we've managed to get rid of it. We've probably got rid of about 10 ton there. Just by putting that gravel board in. We've been able to come all the way around and build the garden up. It's not level, but it better, it's better than it was. This was a hell of a slope here. It just, picks, just, just slopes straight up. So, this is gonna get tidied up eventually. We're gonna concrete along here. But the kerbs have gotta be, we do the remedial kerb work, so some of these will be coming out. So there's no point doing it till the final top, top coat tarmac's done. So that could be a while. So we'll go and finish the last side bit now, up to the gate. Right, we're back again on another go slow because it's bloody freezing. We've just got this section to do now. Um, dug that out, we're just going to put a flag in there temporary. All these boards, because we've put the gravel board in, we've come up five inches so all these boards were in the soil. So I put a gravel board behind and then lifted them. Just put them back in. Although, this fence is much better than the original fence. And I managed... Ground workers came over this morning with the digger. Two dumpers, took them about 10 minutes, done. That saved us a few hours handballing. Eight turn into a skip and obviously saves us the, the price of the skip as well so so there's the finished article on the front this as i think i've mentioned this before is getting get dug out and concreted but not till the uh, top coat's been done because there's a good chance the edges will be coming out before the obviously the curbs are coming out and redone so once all that's been redone then we'll come back and do that So it's just build a gate, we're going to build it ourselves out of the, uh, the prep to treaty 3b2 and the boards. And then we're going to make it probably 900. It's going to be a big gate, but 
the garden's not finished so we want to get it big enough to get a, a little mini digger in without starting taking the fence back down again so we're going to put it we're going to put three foot gate in but we're going to make one a bit wider basically so then because this is wonky it's not straight we're going to put our post in here have to gate from the up to a new post and then have it opening in against the fence we don't want the gate opening out it'd be easy to make it open out but you don't want the gate opening into your drive when you've it's a shared drive so if there's another car there it's going to be tight so as i say opening in that way and we're just going to chuck a flag down there temporary just to get it back and forth to the bins so when alex gets back we're going to go and pick up the stuff we need another three bags of post mix and just a little piece of 2b2 to go on here for the gate to close against and i think that's it oh yeah, and a new, a new gas for the gun and then all these these are going on facebook to get sold on nothing wrong with them they're only less than a year old all pressure treated all denailed so there's a fence there for somebody else only if i if i was putting it up i'd uh, do hit and miss both sides so it's private alternate the boards so that's it for now i'll just go to town that's where i build this gate Right, I've just been off for a shopping spree. I've been, uh, been and got these. I don't know what that's called. That's on top of the gate. So we've got a padlock to go with that. Padlock's on the floor. Padlock. Um, uh, got hinges, two uh, handles. All galvanised. That's called a cabin hook for when the gate, when you've got the gate open, keep it open. And then two heavy duty hinges which are gonna be we're gonna need them because look at the size of the gate it's a, I think what is it eleven hundred wide mm -hmm. yeah so it's it's gonna be wide enough to get a digger in so we just need to put the uh, the stays in and 
it's ready to go. And then we've got one more post to put in, which we'll do today, and then we'll hang the gate tomorrow and get everything finished. We should have been finished yesterday, but it's just that cold. There's no, there's no rushing us. We've got nothing else to do. So we'll get these stays in now. January and it's finally thawing out and we're gonna finally finish this gate <laughs> yeah we've got a few bits to finish off we've got the handle to put on a couple of bits to put down the sides there to cover the ends I'm gonna put a couple of flags down there just to give them something to stand on and that's it then and with a big reveal right quick recap I'll just show you what we're doing These are handles. Pretty straightforward. With a little square bar that goes through. Well, this is about 20 30 mil too short. So we're just gonna this is 12 mil no 10 maybe 12 mil bar. So we're gonna cut it to length, square the ends off with the grinder, and then take the thread off because we've only got a 10 mil wood bit. So the next size up we've got which is 16 mil which is probably a bit too big we'll see how we get on but this, this, is, this is first job get this cut down ready breeze so. arrived as my present officer from the fat boy slim gig I'll actually just denail him while I get sorted here we we'll get this all finished and then have a soil outside gets to get the soil off the path. I've right, tried the 10mm and it's not happening so we're using the 16mm. Feels like there's a nail in there. Could be that yeah. one. Yeah. I'm nearly. That was lucky. Just missed it. Well, caught it, but not damaged anything. So, so that's not straight, is it? There's plenty of play in it anyway. So, yeah, yeah. There's probably one straight, but the nail sent it offline. Yeah. Put this back on the clamp. Uh, yeah. I need to cut it down.
Right, we're all drilled through. We've got one end done. So that sits in nice now. Hold on a sec. Here we go. So get this one fixed and then we can pull it back out and cut it to length then. I wonder why that side's cut short. It shouldn't the lock side be on this side. Oh yeah. With the handle, sorry. We're going to line it up to that. You just hold it there. Then you need to line it up so it... Oh. Good job you're here, Alex. <laughs> right, pull the gate forward and stop it mopping them. Got it. Got two screws there. So we need two more screws as well, don't we? Have you got four? I've got four, yeah. yeah I've got two. Oh, have you? Good. Yeah. Good screws, you like self tappers. Needs to be up, doesn't it? Yeah. To give you room to lift the latch. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's straight, yeah. Yeah, it's just enough, isn't it? We might need to lower this. So yeah. That, so that it'll catch. And they'll just like catch on, yeah. Yeah, so it. Didn't do it anyway. Beautiful. It's a bit of wobble on that, isn't there? That's be alright. Can't be more wobbly than what was here. No, that's true. One right. handle. Might just put the rest of that post mix around the bottom of that. Here? Yeah, just to give it a bit of stability. Do the deal, keep slamming against it. Yeah. Right, now we need to get the other handle, please. The right, the one to the right side. Where'd you put it? Oh, I see. We need a piece of timber in here mm -hmm. to sit this on. We'll just sort that out later. So that. Now. Next problem, do we get the handle out? Right, we've got our whatever it's called. Now, our handle obviously won't fit flat, so we've got to cut a piece of a feather edge board just to stick on here and fix that too. We'll do that now. Here we go.
So the keys for using? Yeah. Just put that inside the garage so the seeds are. Sod's low, starting to thaw, so it rains instead. But um, what I've done is I've notched that out with the uh, trusty multi tool. I never knew we needed one of them until I got it. Can't do it without it now. Great thing that. So we've notched it. So we're going to put some wood glue on that and then fix the handle with two long screws on this side and two short screws on that side and that will sit nice and flat so we'll get that done now I might just put it the other way up actually because that's the, uh, the cut end at the put, put, put the cut end at the bottom so it's not getting the weather on it right, let's get that done I don't know if the wood glue works in the wet we'll find out There we have it. Nice solid fence, nice and private. And this is the drive. Followed round. This section is next doors, but we've stripped it and overboard it so it all matches. Put a couple of flags down temporary until the garden gets done. And this is the new garden. There we go. And that, all that black, is new. It's taken from the grass verge. I think they gained 10 foot. So it's a 30 foot wide garden now, as opposed to 20. And we've managed to grab a board, put about 10 ton back in. Pretty much levelled it up. There's the old fence line with the wibbly wobbly fence lift. Now I've got 110 6 x one boards to get rid of. All in good nick because they're all pressure treated. Here's our gate, which is 1100 wide to make it digger proof. So when they get the garden done, they'll get a mini digger through there. There we go. Just hope it doesn't swell too much. If it does, we'll just have to adjust it slightly. Hobbs are good. In. Get to that mischief over Christmas. And as I said, this is the first day in 15 days where we've had a thaw. That's pretty much the last of the snow. <laughs> 